just want to jump on here really quickly and remind you guys that transformation is not a race. It is a marathon, okay? So I am here to remind you weekly, at night, every night, that we are going to encourage each other. We're going to motivate each other. We're going to undergird each other and push each other to be better and transform into the woman that we want to be as boss, wives, mothers, sisters, lovers, whatever we are, okay? Because we know, as women, we wear multiple hats. Not just one, two, three, four, five. We wear like 60, 80, 90, okay? Whatever moment we are in, at any given moment, we could be wearing five or six hats, okay? So that's what this podcast is about. We are here to help each other out. So last week, I kind of gave you a little snippet of what I was going to be talking about, a little juice on my job that happened. But before we dive into that, I just want to give you the topic tonight, and it is called Paralyzed Potential. So we know what paralyzed is, right? Um, Immobility, okay? Potential, we know what potential is, something with the uh, power to be, right? Um, So... A few weeks ago, my supervisor had the audacity to tell me that I failed at being a leader. We all know that that's not true. Like, I I have failed at a lot of things. I have come short of a lot of things. Leadership has never been one. I've never been told that in my life. And so, I get it. Little men have little complexes and, and they try to be big things. And it's fine. That is what it is. So, I... I did not accept that I will never accept that because I know what I do. He does not know what I do. And that's one of the issues. And that's totally fine. But I am not here to talk about him. I'm here to talk about us. Women, here is a tip. We know who we are. We know what we are capable of doing. And we know to what extent we are willing to go. Let me tell you what I have been doing for the past two years. I think I have been working somebody else's job as if it was my own. I've been going in early and I have been staying late. I have been stressing out to the point where I literally triggered a, I I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a severe migraine that lasted literally three weeks straight. Never in my life. Now, yes, I am prone to having migraines, but never in my life. Have I had a migraine that lasted more than two days? I mean, y'all literally had to be put on bed rest because this migraine would not break. I mean, they tried every medication under the sun to get this migraine to break and it would not break. Um, But yes, I, I was working this job as if it was my own. And I was like, oh my God. And again, you want to tell me I failed as a leader? make it make sense sir no anyway um but here's here's where the rubber meets the road potential i know what is in me i know that when i step foot on any property (laughs) willing to do or willing to put my hands to work on any project i know that i'm going to give 1000 percent whether i'm tired hungry uh, frustrated, happy, sad, whatever my emotions may have me going through that day, it does not matter because I know that if I said that I'm going to do something, that is what I'm going to do, right? And women, we know what is in us. We know what we have the potential to do. We know what we have the capability of doing and we know how far we are willing to go to achieve it. I have a spirit of excellence. I have always have. I hate putting my name on something and it looks like crap. I hate putting my name on something and it turns out to be crap. So guess what I'm not going to do? (laughs) I'm not going to let anything that has my name on it resemble less of or less than, okay? So when we are working in corporate America, we have to remember that it does not belong to us. And that is something that I had to remind myself and that is something that God had to remind me of recently. Y'all, for the past 
Yeah, I think two years. I think two years. Um, or I want to say two years. I think I started there in 2022. Um, but when yes, God yes, has God has reminded me. This is not my job. Like, like this is not this what is I gave you to do for the rest of your life. This is just a stopping point. Like, this is just something to add to your resume. This is something here to help build you, to help you know push you to greater things. So, you know, I God is pushing me, and it's always pushing us to build his kingdom and to do things for his ministry and to get to get for him to get the glory out of everything that we do right so i went into healthcare because i love always have loved helping people obviously i'm podcasting um but um and we're still talking about the potential part right so i had i had to well god had to bag me off of a lot of things because not only was it um detrimental to my health but it started affecting me at home. It started affecting me in the ministry at church. Like, you know, my I have a senior this year. It was just becoming too much. And so God knew that if it continued, and if I continued at the rate that I was going, something else was going to break. And it didn't need to be me. Okay? So knowing the potential that I have in me, knowing that everything that... <clears throat> that um, I put my hands to do that I'm going to give a thousand percent, not just a hundred. I had to, uh, I had to be reminded that this job is just a job. Right. And I'm so glad that my manager took me into the office and he, he didn't, he didn't break me, but he brought me back to reality. You know, that (laughs) at any given day I could literally, and I literally did that day. Actually, I did tell them that I was clocking out and I was going home. I didn't. I calmed down. You know, I talk, I called my doctor and I was like, hey, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. He was like, hey, calm down. Chill out. You know, let me call them. Let me talk to him because he was in, he was going into surgery or whatever. And so, you know, but but guys, we know what's in us. So we have to be in control of that. And I lost sight of that. So I hope that helps somebody. Now, let's talk about this paralyzed. Part. A lot of things that we <laughs> that we go through in life determine the function or a lot of things that we go through in life determines how we allow things to function in us or how we allow things to function in our lives right so i allowed my potential to be paralyzed i literally stopped doing everything for me because i was giving 100% to the job now don't get me wrong Y'all know I don't do anything I don't want to do. <laughs> That's first and foremost. I love my job. I love what I do because I love where I am and I love the um the at well, I ain't gonna say I love the atmosphere. At, at first I did. At first I did love the atmosphere because of just just the fact that, you know, it wasn't the normal urology team. It wasn't. It wasn't. Like we we were made up of so many different backgrounds. And like I said, literally, for real, like seriously, we're all pretty much bosses. Like we're all leaders. And it was just amazing to see so many strong women working together without the attitude, without the crap mentality, you know, and just being able to work side by side. And I really did like the atmosphere. Now I don't, but I did in the beginning. But the fact that our urology team um, is just completely different. You know, it just, it was just something different about it. So I, I was drawn to it. Um, and so my manager at the time was a woman and a black woman at that. So I was like, oh, bet you got me, you know? And so that's what drew me to the team. Um, and so I, I would never do anything that I don't want to do. And I never will do anything that I don't want to do. I will never work somewhere or be a part of a team or be a part of anything that I don't want to do. So Whenever God tells me it's time for me to move, I will move. But for the time being, I'm going to sit still and wait for him. So back to the paralyzed part. I have literally been paralyzed. Um, I won't, I don't really know, just potentially, like potentially paralyzed. You know, I haven't been podcasting. I haven't been working on my modeling studio. I've been focusing solely on just family, spouse, children, um, not even my house. Like, you know, my work has been consuming me so much mentally. I've and physically been exhausted, but mentally, like, 
you guys know, like working mentally sometimes can be more challenging than physically. And so I've just been paralyzed, like immobile, can't do anything else, no inspiration, nothing coming in. And that is definitely not how we were created to be. I have had no inspiration to do anything. Um, You know, I've been functioning, but that's not how life should be. We should never just function. And I know I'm probably like, my my accent is so thick right there, but you guys know the word that I'm trying to say. Um, But yeah, life wasn't created for us to function. Life was created for us to live. Yes, I have been creating a life for my children, but not for me, you know? And I'm just like, yeah, that that had to end. And so I'm glad that God put a stop to it. I'm glad that God said, oh, wait a minute, you know? Um, now, the meeting was not of God. <laughs> that is definitely, that's definitely not what I'm saying. That outburst that I had was not of God. But the whole come to Jesus realization of, wait a minute, this this little dude for real just just tried to come for me, you know, like that part. That part was like God saying, "You see how they do not appreciate you. You see how they're how he's trying to stifle you. You see how he's trying to control you. That's not of me." And so I had to realize not only was I paralyzing my potential, but he was trying to do the same. Sometimes it takes a big boom for us to see that things are not as though they should be. And for me, it definitely takes that because I was just going through the motion. I felt like I was doing what what I was supposed to be doing. I felt like, you know, this is what I'm called to do at this present moment. And this is what's feeding my family, right? Because a senior year is a pretty big year. So I've been focusing on working for number one. Um, Number two, I've been focusing on just making sure that nothing falls to the crap. Because in the medical field, it's not about you. It's, it's, It's not personal. It's about the patient. Like, and especially working with urology oncology, like, I don't want anybody to go without medication. I don't want anyone to go mis- misdiagnosed. I don't want anyone to go without getting their appointments or their follow-up appointments or their surgeries. You like, so, you know, I'm just that person. Like, it's not about me. Like, I want to stay and make sure I take care of everything that's emerging. Anything that can wait till tomorrow, we'll wait till tomorrow. But whatever can't, can't. And so I just needed that wake-up call, you know? What's the wake-up call that you're needing? And how long are you going to go paralyzed until you get it? Like, as women, we sacrifice so much of ourselves all the time that we don't even recognize when we're paralyzing ourselves. Or we don't recognize that someone else is paralyzing us. And we're de- and not only that, but we're giving them permission to paralyze our potential. Girl, I was like, did this just happen? Not this little dude coming for me. Like, dude, and I know I'm tall. I'm 5'11", I know that. But he's still little, y'all. But and, I, and it's still a sore spot for me. But it is what it is, you know? Who cares? But it was just the fact that I am not granting you permission. You will never have permission to come for me like this. You will never have my permission to talk to me like this. And I don't care if you write my check or sign my check. This is not your place to talk to me or to give me leadership direction. At all, because I know who I am and you will never be able to tell me who I am. So in that moment, I had to take back my authority. And that's what we have to do. Now, I still have a job. Did I care if I lost my job at that moment? No, I did not. And do it. And honestly, guys, here's the thing about being a child of God. I wouldn't have cared if I would have lost my job. <laughs> I, because if that would have gotten me fired, then so be it. Because you, what you're not going to do is force your opinion onto me because of how you feel about you. That's 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 what's not going to happen. That's that's what's not first. That's, that's not what's going to happen. Especially when I can point out everything that you're doing wrong. No, that's not what's going to happen. Um, but not only that, it's, and, it, and it's literally, guys, it has nothing to do with him. It was all me. It was all me, for one. I, I was wrong. And I told my doctor that, you know, I started the whole thing. I really, I did blow up. I did. Um, regardless of how my clinical coordinator stepped to me, because she, 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 she came, baby, and I had to give it back. But, <laughs> you know, 
Uh, she, I mean, you know, don't ask and you, you won't receive now, but it is what it is. But, um, I, I should have controlled myself. And I, that's what I told my doctor. I did, you know, I should have controlled myself, but here's the, here's the problem with that. Working in corporate America, we have to stay balanced. We have to stay balanced. There is nothing wrong with being a boss wife, an entrepreneur and working too. Nothing wrong with that right? There's nothing wrong with having a side hustle. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with bettering ourselves. There's nothing wrong with living up to our full potential because what you don't want to do is die with all this untapped potential in you. You don't want your children to die saying, oh, I mean, you don't want your children to bury you saying, God, mom always wanted to do this. She never got to do it. God, mom wanted, she she always said she wanted to go here. We never took her here or we never got to see her live that dream. That's what you don't want to hear or your children to say, right? So in working in corporate America, this is my tip for tonight. Remember not to allow your potential to be paralyzed because at the end of the day, you have to live with yourself. You have to live with the fact that, do I want to please other people for money or do I want to please myself and still have what God wants me to have at the end of the day? I am never in fear of losing anything because what God has for me will always be for me. Nobody can take it and nobody can give me anything extra, right? Um, With saying that, you can cause some things to happen, (laughs) That God did not design to happen, okay? So don't get me wrong now. We can we can mess up some stuff, right? But I am a true believer that it really doesn't matter how much people come for you. Because at the end of the day, and I say this, <laughs> this is just the first thing that popped in my head. So don't take this literally, okay? Because we're this is just girl talk. We're just talking. It's the end of the night. I'm tired. You tired. This just popped in my head. This is, I'm just going to say it. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what people try to do because people can have intentions on firing you and they can stroke out the next five minutes. You know, like, I mean, I'm just being serious. Like we sometimes we look at the weapon because, you know, the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Right. But sometimes we look at how big that weapon is and we get afraid or we look, we get a little intimidated. And I'm like, God, do you see the weapon, though? Do you? And God is like, but I'm God. It doesn't matter. So, no, y'all, when I I promise you, I people in position don't don't I don't I don't I'm just being honest. I don't back down from them because, like I said, you put your pants on the same way I do. Somebody's writing your check the same way they're writing mine. So, no. Your title means nothing to me because my God's title is bigger than yours. So, at the end of the day, whatever God has for me, he has for me. If you come for me, you got to deal with somebody bigger than me. So, what I'm not going to do is allow, again, this is not going to happen again. Let me say that because it did happen. I'm not going to allow someone to paralyze my potential for their ambition. I was making this man's company better when I should have been, when I should have been um, building my own business, when I should have been depositing my potential and reconstructing everything that I have into my businesses and into my family and into myself, period. Because y'all, a straight up migraine, for three weeks, you talking about somebody was in pain. I was in the ER crying in the hospital, crying, like being like admitted and like shot up with stuff. Like, I'm like, no. And then they talking about bed rest. Who? Who got time for bed rest? Bed rest is for punks. I cannot do this. <laughs> like, I got a life to live. I got children who try to go on trips. Like, no, I need to go to work, you know? That I mentally, mentally paralyzed, was not thinking clearly. Like, my brain did not comprehend the fact that I am putting my body through so much stress. Like, my my mind, yeah, that's it. My mind was literally paralyzed to the fact that I was just living for this man's company. Now, granted, I work for Erlinger, a big corporate hospital, but still, like, I'm making you look good by killing myself. That's ending. <laughs> not gonna happen. Like, no. Again, don't get me wrong. Love what I do. At the end of the day, there should be a balance. 
We are women. We give 100%. We give 1,000%. We will always do that. And I'm not saying tomorrow I'm not going to go in there and give it a 1,000 because I am. But what I'm not going to do is show up early and leave at 10 o'clock at night. That's what we ain't going to do. Because it's unappreciated. It's it's unappreciated. And you and they have definitely showed me that. So since I know, not only that is unappreciated, but since now that it's been revealed to me that I was giving other people permission to paralyze my potential and to hold me back potentially, it's just not going to happen again, right? So ladies, thank you so much for joining me tonight on BossWife.Log. I want to say I really appreciate you guys listening to me. I really hope you got something out of tonight. I really hope you grow and I really, really hope and pray that you never again allow someone to paralyze your potential. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review to let us know what you think. Your feedback is invaluable to us and we can see to grow and improve together. Thank you for your support. I love you and I will see you in the next one.